Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So, I've already shown you how to install the Samsung Evo SSD, the 850. And I've already done an unboxing for Windows 10. Sorry, Windows 10 Pro. So now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install Windows 10 off of the thumb drive. You can see it's a little bit of an odd thumb drive there. So, I'm going to go ahead and install it in my USB slot right up here on the top of the computer. This is my Thermotake Suppressor F51. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead, turn her on. And now we're gonna go ahead and configure the BIOS real quick. So right now I have the Patriot Ignite 480 gigabyte SSD in there uh, as the main drive, but that's because that's the drive that was in there before. I've moved that to a different SATA 3 port and I put the 850 EVO in its place so now I'm going into my BIOS to change the boot order your BIOS may look different so when I'm in the BIOS I go to boot over here and I scroll down the boot option number one is the Patriot drive so what I'll do is I'll scroll down a little bit more go to hard drive BBS priority press enter there and first boot option is the Patriot again so I'll go ahead and move um, change that to the Samsung SSD 850 okay you see that's gonna put my Patriot all the way down here which is good I don't want it to boot from there but you know so I can pull data if I need to alright so now I'm gonna go ahead hit F10 to save and exit now the boot priority is different on many systems for this one, to get to it, I'm going to hit F8 as soon as I see my logo right up here, my Asus logo. So I'll start tapping F8 right there, American. Oh, I disabled my BIOS, sorry about that, my boot logo. So now I'm going to go to the UEF KDI MST, MSFT Windows 10. That's my thumb drive. So I'll boot from that. And I'm going to go ahead and select Windows Setup 64 bit. And then here you select your language and your time and currency format, all English for me. And your keyboard input, all English for me again. And I'll click next and install now. Okay, now I have to put in my Windows key. Give me one second. The Windows key now comes in a little card that looks like this. It's on the other side. And uh, of course I'm going to edit this part out. Alright, so after entering my key, I accept the licensing terms. Of course, make sure you read through it. Very important stuff here. And then click Next. I'm going to choose Custom Install Windows Only. Since I do have Windows on another disk, I don't want it to be erased. Alright, so right up here, 465 gigs. That's my Samsung SSD 850 EVO. And drive zero unallocated space that means it's a blank disk so I'm gonna go ahead and select that one and just click next now this part's gonna take a little while so as soon as the install starts I'm gonna do a little fast forwarding for you guys I don't wanna bore you alright so now it's copying all the files from the thumb drive onto the hard drive then it's going to be expanding them and installing all that good stuff alright now I could hit restart now or just let it take its time to restart Since the Samsung Evo is the very first drive in the boot priority, I'll just go ahead and leave that thumb drive in there. Should be fine. It will boot now from the Samsung drive.
few more setup options you might want to read through here nothing big they want you to use express settings I don't like that I like to use customized settings so click on the left hand side and this is kinda gonna let you go over all the good things alright send typing and inking data to Microsoft no thanks off let apps use your advertising ID whatever I don't care about that one that's fine I'm a home doesn't matter and click next and of course you can set them how you want to these are just how I would set mine up and you can always change them later too which I probably will I'm just going over all the settings no I don't need that okay next hi how you doing ah thank you that is important ah okay thanks Alright, who owns this PC? I do. And click next. And I'll go ahead and put in my email and password. This is probably going to pull information from my previous install, like my background and some of my settings. And click sign in. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Skip. I don't want to set their password pin thing. Cortana alright so we'll go set her up real quick and click next hi I feel like I've heard this before Ah, okay, I feel better now, thanks. Alright, so now we're in Windows. This is actually the EVGA Torx mouse that I reviewed a while ago as my background. I did that a long time ago. Uh, let's see, sure, click yes. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I've just walked you through the entire install of Windows 10. It really did not take long at all. It doesn't rely on a CD drive anymore or a DVD drive, all USB, so very quick. So, yeah, glad I can show you this. And, of course, now it's all up to you to install the drivers and configure the OS. But, just wanted to show you that. Alright guys, this is Iggy back again showing you how to install Windows 10 on the Samsung SSD 850 EVO. Of course, the setup will be the same on any computer. That's just the drive I installed it on this time. Alright, Iggy out. See you guys.